Hey guys, and welcome to the true finale for the main arc of Tales of Grace's F. It was supposed to be yesterday, but, you know. Eh. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this on moderate because... Really, this whole 10 times damage multiplier thing... It... While it's good... The only reason you really want it are for those... Beating certain bosses within 60 seconds. Wait. Okay. Lambda Angelus here, he is one of them, and also you get the um, game completion trophies for moderate and up. You don't get anything for easy or normal, so if you're going through the game on easy or normal, or if you can't do it higher than that, well, if you want the trophies, you're kind of out of luck. But, um, yeah, so... I'm about to get right to <clears throat> Oh. To get that um 60 second trophy for Lambda Angelus here, you can let's see. You have to do this before a certain boss and I forget uh, which dungeon. I can't remember if it's the final boss in the future arc or if it's one of the boss or, or Oh, it's after beating the zone cage. Okay. So, if you want to get the 60 second trophy for Lambda Angelus here, do not beat the zone cage. Oh my god, I... Oh my god, everyone died! Look at that! What the hell happened, guys? What happened? <laughs> That's not funny. I wish you hadn't seen me like that. No, Malik, Malik! Ma Freaking A, Malik, you suck. Malik is, I swear, the worst AI in this game. Well, granted, all of the AIs in this game are pretty bad, and Malik just seems to be the worst. Oh, come on, really? This is what I hate, you can't get your AIs alive for more than a few seconds every time they die. And there I go, and here goes Hubert. Well... Thank you. Could've let me down sooner, but no. I guess I'd be asking too much. Okay. Oh, come on, Pascal. Come on, Malik. Use another hour hourglass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are going to cheat our way through this. You think you have won? It's not completely no. cheating, you know. It helps you, you get through mistaken. it, so why not I use it? Cannot be defeated. It's not like you get experience, anyways. All you get is SP. Yes. Oh, yeah. If you want to gain, ah, gain, increase your health capacity on your mixer. Well, I'll show you a sort of setup for now. I need to tweak it around a bit, but anyways, uh, that's the last boss of the main arc, well, before the zone cage, so I'll show you that one later on, too. Oh, yeah, that boss gets a trophy, so, <gasps> excuse me. Talia will soon return to its former state. And then in time, the Valkanists will also regain their Ellis. So the world will be back to normal. Lambda's completely fading away! So if he doesn't have energy to leech, 
Will he just, like, disappear? No. He won't. If we do nothing more, he will fall into sleep and someday... He will regain his power. No... But we've come so far! There's gotta be something we can do! Sophie? Sophie, wait! Don't sacrifice yourself for this! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Being with you has... made me happier than you know. But now, I want to protect your home. I want to protect your future. And you! No, don't! You promised, you promised you wouldn't do this! Even if I disappear, a little part of me will still remain inside all of you. But that is no different than you dying! It will be like the time I distributed my particles to save your lives. Except this time, I won't ever see you again. But in a way, we will still be together. you die. Where... am I? We are in a shared mind space. It is a neutral place that belongs to neither you nor I. That voice... Lambda! I will expel you from this place and seize control of your mind space. And eventually, your body will come under my full and complete control. In exchange for becoming my vessel, I will permit you a place in my mind so that you might witness the birth of this new world. This process will allow the world to become whole again. 
This process will make me complete. Complete? Never again will anyone be permitted to cause me pain. I have been pursued for my entire life, and this process will grant me peace. I will finally be able to rest. What's happening? That voice. Asbel. Richard, you must stay still. Is he? Has he been taken over? I don't know. We've been hearing two voices for a while now. One of them is definitely Asbel, but the other one is probably... Lambda. I think that Sophie allows us to hear them somehow. Curses. He is probably trying to take over Asbel's mind. I hate to admit it, but Lambda responded most strongly to my feelings of anger and resentment. I thought that meant we understood each other, that we could help each other. But in the end, <sighs> our mutual feelings caused far more harm than good. However, in Asbel's case... Asbel. So those visions we saw were your memories, right? Did you enjoy watching my painful past? Was it satisfying to see your enemy suffer? I took no satisfaction in seeing your pain. I'm not like that. I know that your past was filled with terrible things. But that's no reason for you to do this. That's why. You overcame your pain, so I should be able to overcome mine. Is that what you're trying to say? Human beings are cruel and greedy creatures, but above all, arrogant. You pretend to care for those who suffer, while in fact looking down upon them. Do not try to sway me, human. I know your thoughts better than even you do. It's true I don't know my own thoughts very well, but to be honest, you're doing an even worse job than me this time. I didn't say anything about you overcoming your pain alone, did I? Some things require the help of others. So if we join forces and work together, we can accomplish anything. I truly believe that. Work together? Really? Only foolish humans fall for such pathetic words. You're right, you know. It's true. Human beings can be pathetic. And me? Well, I'm about as human as they come. But we're more than that. We can be so much more than that. And you know it's true. Misunderstandings led to tragedy, and that in turn led to even greater tragedies. Is continuing with that cycle what you want to do with your life? Behind all the tragedy lies your sadness. And the actions that you took because of that sadness only made you even more alone. Cornell wanted more for you. He didn't bring you up just to make you suffer. Cornell told me to live, even though I'm not human, and even though I can't maintain a human form. I'm just one person. I can't tell you what it means to live. However, I do know this. Cornell wanted more than anything to show you as much of the world as he could. 
He wanted you to learn. And he wanted you to live. I know you've learned nothing but pain and sadness so far, and I'm sorry. But there's so much more the world has to offer. That's the world Cornell wanted you to see. I know that's what he wanted for you. The world he wanted me to see. Come on, Lambda. Let's you and I go see what the world has to offer. We can be as one, and you can see the world through my eyes. I would consume you. In time, your space would fade and disappear. You won't consume me. It is inevitable. No human can resist me. I'll take that chance. We'll see if I get taken over or not. You can add that to your list of things to observe. How can you make such an offer? You could destroy me and end your troubles. So then why? We can't destroy you without destroying Sophie as well. And besides, I have something to prove. I want you to know that humans have potential. I'll help you to understand how terrible it would be to end this world. It's not worth it. You still have so much left to learn. Now, take my hand. And if I refuse? Then, I guess I'll take your hand. Doesn't matter who reaches out. What matters is that the other accepts. So you really intend to coexist with me? The moment you lapse and your guard goes down, I will absorb all that it means to be you. Well, in that case, then I guess my guard will just have to stay up. Very well. Then from this point forward, it will have to be a battle between the two of us. All right. If you insist. I'm ready whenever you are. I think I've talked for too long. Or perhaps... I've finally reached my limit. Asbel, I think I'm... going to sleep for a while. Lambda. Oh no, his light is fading. No, wait! You can't just disappear! Don't go, Lambda! There are still so many amazing things left for you to do! Do you hear me? You can't just end it like this! Not when you're so close! You have to see! I have to make you see! Lambda! You must live on! Huh? The voice is stopped! Is Lambda... gone? <clears throat> My Asbel. friend, come on! Asbel, wake up! Asbel. Uh, All right. Oh, thank goodness. Asbel. Yeah. Uh. Asbel, are you all right? We heard you talking to Lambda. So is he gone or what? Sophie, what are you doing? Something's... different. This reaction is new. So then does that... 
Does that mean he's gone? I don't... No, Sharia, I don't think so. I can't destroy this Lambda. This Lambda... doesn't need to be destroyed. What does that mean? I don't understand. Lambda said... he was going to sleep. He's just asleep for a little while. So, that means Sophie doesn't have to sacrifice herself anymore, right? Right. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go home. Time for us to go. Right. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. Lambda, I hope you're watching. We have so much to show you. Men, go and help those soldiers over there. Yes, sir. Your Highness, watch out! Your Highness! Sharia, what are you doing here? I was heading to Fendel when I heard you arrived. Here, let me heal your wounds, okay? I'll be all right. Please, just go and help the others. Yes, Richard. Just hold still. I'll fix you right up, okay? This is all my doing. I must make amends. Stand still. Not any longer. Not when there is so much left to be done. Yeah. All right. Spread out, men. We must secure the area. Yes, sir. in over a week. Hmm. Yeah, I guess this is the only way. We just can't seem to raise this Falconess's output no matter what we do. So the Aleph is as difficult to extract as you thought? Like we can't go any higher without risking an explosion. I thought I could use the steam from hot water to power the machinery, but it didn't work out. We can't produce enough steam to make the thing function like I wanted it to. Oh, hey, Fourier! Researching the Valkanus again, I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How long has it been since you've had a bath? I don't know. 
A week or something? Pascal, that's gross! Oh, what did I do? You are a girl for crying out loud. You're supposed to bathe. And even if you weren't a girl, going a week without a bath is just disgusting. <gasps> I guess I kind of get caught up in my work. But I'll shower soon, I promise. No. <sighs> Why do you hate to bathe so much? I don't really hate it. There's just never any hot water left when I think of it. So, if there was always hot water around, you'd bathe more often? Always hot water around? You're a genius! Oh my gosh, Fourier! That's it! We can set this up so people can bathe in the water boiled by the Valkanists! No, wait! We can let them use it for heat and for boiling their water! So, if there were pipes running to their houses and stuff... Okay, that should do for a rough draft. Now I just have to build the thing. Uh, sorry, Fourier, but I don't think I'm gonna have time to take a bath until this is... Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! What? <laughs> That's it! You're taking a bath right this instant! <laughs> I don't know, Pascal. I think I'd turn myself in if I were you. You're not getting away from me this time! Get back here before I toss you into the channel! Well done in there, Captain Malik. Thanks, Hubert. Oh no, the thanks belong to you. That was a very productive meeting. Well, since I'm Fendel's new ambassador, I'm only doing my job. I must say, Pascal's idea really threw me for a loop there. Pumping warm water to all of Fendel's homes and using it for heat. It's so simple, and yet so elegant. I'm sure it will serve the people well. You'll be overseeing the entire project, correct? Yeah, it'll be pretty dangerous work. Fendel is now a freer, happier country than I could ever have imagined. We still have many challenges ahead of us, but there's no doubt that things are improving every day. Captain Malik, I think we're seeing the dawn of a new age. Hmm. Sorry about that, Sophie. I couldn't get away. Come on, don't look at me like that. I'm not that late. Look down. On the ground. Look down? Oh! Be careful. Don't step on them. Oh, come on. You've got a ton of these. One little flower won't... Don't! Sorry. Don't you dare crush even one of them. Yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. I'll be more careful. So, uh, how's the Blossom Gale coming along? They're almost ready. The Sulfarius have been glowing for a while now. So it's time? You know, you really did a great job with this garden. There isn't a spare inch of dirt left. I don't want to just plant here, Asbel. I want to plant in lots of places. Oh, hey, hold on. At that rate, the world will be nothing but so farious. I had this dream. It's kind of silly, but... I dreamt I was riding in a huge blossom gale. And we went to a beautiful meadow where I fell asleep. But then, when I woke up, I was an adult. I wasn't a child anymore. You woke up an adult? 
I wonder if I'll ever grow up. Yeah, I think you will. But hey, what do you guys think? Sofarius? So fairies are... The lights are... fading. No way! Don't give up. Come on. Hey, look! It's happening! Asbel? Who knows? Maybe they'll fly all across the world. All across the world? Oh, geez, that's the longest I've ever gone without having to keep my mouth shut. But then again, I just muted the mic, so... Oh, man. Well, look at that. So far, we're a little over 32 minutes, and... We still have... Well... I don't know if I remember to put a little caption in the video to skip ahead after the credits. Or, you know, you can just skip ahead. Because there are a few more things. Well, there's another little cutscene after the credits here, so. <sighs> yeah, I don't Now you can imagine why I didn't make yesterday's episode the finale. Would have been very long. Definitely somewhere between 50 to an 50 minutes to an hour, but anyways, um, I'm gonna mute the mic here, so I'll leave you guys with the rest of the credits, the cutscene, and then I'll come back after that's done.
Once there was a young boy who discovered a lost seed. He planted it in his yard, and he took care of it every day. Over time, the lost seed grew up and blossomed into a beautiful flower. What do you think happened to the seed after that? It turned into a bright shining star that watched over everyone. This was its way of thanking the boy who had been so very kind to it. Which star was it? Well, it's the one we all know best. Our favorite star of all. Well, it's official. The main oh, turn my controller back on. The main arc is complete. Um, I can save over this one tonight. No, okay. Yeah, that other one above is my account that I need to use to, you know, eventually. I'm kind of trying to cheat my way through with the last game clear trophy for chaos mode. Oh my god. It <laughs> it's ridiculous with the 10 times damage multiplier. Uh man, I go into some details on the things I'm trying to do but not exactly working completely yet. I've gotten close a few times but Still need to play around with it some more, level up. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the finale for the main arc of Tales of Graces F. And tomorrow, we'll be starting the future arc, or otherwise, or otherwise known as Lineage and Legacies. So, sit tight and we will, well, sit to, oops. No, don't start that up. Yeah, anyways, shut up, sit tight, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.